All right. Hey guys, it's Joette with bloomcoach.com. I am delighted that you are here to listen to a few insights that I have to help you be successful in the last quarter of 2018. I'm here to help you make 2018 and great. Good evening to those who are joining live. I'm glad I'm seeing you and I see what you're typing. So feel free to go ahead and um, let me know any questions that you have. The other thing, I know sometimes there's a delay. So if you guys who are on with me live, if you can let me know that you currently are able to um, see a slide that I have up. So um, Danielle, I know you're on live with me. So if you could go ahead and just let me say um, yes, that you're able to see the slideshow that I've got going on or know that you're not, that will help me out um, so that I know what you guys are seeing here live on Facebook. Um, it's one of those things of when you're live streaming off of a webinar program onto um, Facebook, sometimes there's a delay. Oh, great. Thanks, Jen, for letting me know. Hey, Sherry, wonderful. All right. So here are the tips that I have to help make your business uh, profits increase the end of this year. Um, if you don't have it already, grab yourself a pen and pencil so that you can write things down as we go. For any of you that don't know, I'm Joette. I am um, ballooncoach.com. I actually started ballooncoach.com in January of 2015. So I am excited that I am towards the end um, of my third year doing this and it has been an absolute blast so far. I really enjoy helping other people grow their business. And I just wanna give a quick overview because we have a lot of new people who've been joining the Facebook groups that I helped moderate recently. And I wanna make sure you guys know just a little bit about me. And that is, I started in the balloon industry full time in 2003. I took over an existing company here in Lakeland, Florida and I was very fortunate. It was somebody who I actually had been a client for. I loved party people and all they did. I hired them for church events. My mom bought the balloons from um, the birth of my daughter at the hospital from their storefront. Um, my daughter will be turning 19 in October, just to kind of give you a little bit of reference there. And um, basically, I had started selling party supplies online through a company called 1-800-PARTY-SHOP. And I went to a convention and found out about balloon decor, fell in love with it, thought, wow, I really want to be a full-time party planner. I want to help people make their events spectacular. I had a background already in recreational leisure studies. I loved being able to facilitate programs and putting things together. So it kind of all just fell in line for me. And I was getting a helium tank from Trees. And I said, if you ever need help, I'd love to work with you, but don't want to compete against you. And two days later, she offered me her company. So that was pretty amazing. Um, big answer to prayers for me. And I now went from thinking about being a business owner to I am a business owner <laughs> and was not really sure what to go, where to go, what to do. And luckily, I'd already been a member of the local chamber and I increased my activity with that. I got connected with several other groups. And over time, I have gone to all of the top balloon conventions in the United States from World Balloon Convention, Float, and a lot of traveling classes that come to the area in Florida where I would travel up to four hours to go down to classes. I've gone to Georgia for classes. And then with WBC, I've traveled to many different states. And the thing that I have to say about the balloon industry is we're full of amazing people who are giving of their information and their talents. And now I feel like all that's really paying off because in 2018, the balloon industry is exploding. And I am so fortunate to get to um, talk to a lot of balloon professionals around the world that I communicate with and finding out how people are growing their companies and also hearing the struggles that people are having. So I wanted to go ahead and just number one say, you are in the right place at the right time if you're ready to work hard. And this is not an easy piece of cake, walk in the park kind of business. Being the owner of a balloon business takes a lot of work and it has to take an investment of time on your part and it also takes an investment of money. So I'm just being upfront and honest with you. If you're serious 
about making an income that replaces what a full-time job did for you, whether that's $30,000 a year, $60,000 a year, $100,000 a year or more. If you want to make that kind of money in your pocket from balloons, you have to treat your business not like a hobby, not like just something fun that you enjoy doing, but you have to set systems in place and work your butt off. So just for a quick shout out for those of you who are on with me in life, how many of you here are really ready to work your butt off and make some extra money? Give me a yes or a thumbs up if you agree with that. Yay, Shelly, yes, <laughs> I love it. So my first question for you today is, did you set a sales goal for 2018? Now, for those of you who are brown new to the industry, you may not have even thought about this. You're just right now figuring out how to tie your balloons together and how to make sure your column or your arch stays up. And I understand when you first start this business, there is so much to learn that sometimes it can be overwhelming. So for my veterans out there, yay, Kendra said yes. So did you set a goal for your business of how much you want your sales to be for 2018? And if that answer is yes, have you reached that goal yet? Okay, so number one, I wanna know, did you set a sales goal for 2018? And if you did, write that down in your notes, what that number is that you've set us for your goal for 2018. And then I wanna know, have you reached it yet or no? So I'm gonna give you guys just a second to think about that. And we're going on to step two. If you reached your goal already, if it is the end of third quarter and you have already gotten to the goal that you had set for 2018, which is what happened with Party People events, okay? I'm very blessed that the company that I sold back in 2015 to become ballooncoach.com, Jonathan Gerber is the owner of that company. He merged several companies together and I'm his marketing director. And we get to set in and have admin team meetings where the office manager, myself and Jonathan talk about what our goals are for the year. And I am delighted to report that we've exceeded that goal already. So over the summer, Jonathan knew we were on trend for that. And we went ahead and he increased and bumped at that number to give us something to strive for. So I'm gonna encourage you to do the same thing. If you've already reached the goal that you had for 2018 because your sales have been so good, then right now I want you to write a number on that piece of paper of the sales that you think you're going to be able to bring in in the last quarter of this month. And so for those of you who are new to quarters and don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> uh, believe me, I didn't used to either. I had no idea about fiscal years and quarters um, before I was in the balloon industry. I was a social worker. I didn't have to worry about all that. So what we're looking at is October, November, December are the last three months of the year. That is the final quarter for 2018. And so think about what you think your sales can be for that last three months and go ahead and write that number down. And then if you're one of those people that do not have a sales goal written down, then I want you to come up with one. Think about what your average sales are. Do you typically do $500 in business a month? Do you do $1,000 in business a month, 2,000? So then to be a safe bet, if you normally do $2,000 a month, then 2,000 times three would be 6,000 for your goal for the end of the year. That's one way to figure it out. But if you know that you're gonna be rocking New Year's Eve, then you may increase that goal. So one person told me that they have not um, reached their goal yet. They're not even close. So, hey, it happens sometimes. So let's figure out a way to get you closer to that goal. Are you ready? All right. Here's the thing. The number one thing I want to make sure everybody listening to this live and listening to the recording later is I want you right now on a piece of paper or in your phone, if you're a person that just types everything into your phone, I want you to set some type of number that you have for the next three months or whatever that big total is you have for the end of 2018. Why do I say write numbers down? Because I know it works. All right, I just went through and had a vision board meeting on the other last Sunday, a week ago. Wow, I can't believe it's already been a week. A week ago Sunday, I held a vision board class. And one of the things that we talked about is how important it is for the power of intention and the law of attraction to work for you. 
that the only way that that can work for you is if you set up a number in your head and you post it on the board by your computer and you have it in other reminder places for you throughout the day so that you're looking at that number and striving for it. But not only do you just write a number out there and just randomly go about your day, you have to set a path to get there. So that's what I'm here to help you with tonight, okay? So when you look at this path here on the screen, you have a guy standing there with a piece in his hand and it hasn't gotten into the road yet to get to his goal. So if you're needing to have a little bit of help filling in that puzzle piece to get you from where you are now to where you wanna be, that's where I come in. And some of the information I'm gonna give you tonight I think will help fill in that puzzle if you're ready to work. So just gotta ask you, are you guys ready to work? Because if you're not ready to work, this is not gonna help you and you might as well turn it off, <laughs> okay? So I'm just throwing that out there, that these steps that I'm talking about takes effort on your part and it may be that I'm asking you to do things that are outside your comfort zone or something that you haven't done before and that is the number one thing that took my business from where it was to where it is now is stepping outside of my comfort zone and growing okay so here we go ballooncoach.com i have so many resources to serve as the missing puzzle pieces for you i want you to think about it as your balloon training university we have instructors from around the world that have shared their tips and hints of what's helped them grow their business over the last three years. We have been doing webinars every month and all of that information is sitting there for you. Many of you are my monthly subscribers who have past webinars sitting there just waiting for you to listen to them again for you to get reignited and excited about your business or maybe there's just a tip that you're missing on how to network or how to do a balloon drop so that you feel confident and selling those for New Year's Eve. Or maybe it's that you need to listen to somebody who has a retail store and talk about the ins and outs of that and then share with you how to put together a sales flyer to go out and talk to car dealerships and things like that. All of this information is just sitting there waiting for you to use it. And if you've already invested in it, I want to remind you that those resources are there for you to use to help you get re-inspired and maybe hear something different that you didn't remember from the first time you listened to the webinar and then to take action on what you learned. The reason I'm talking about this is so many times um, people tell me, oh, well, I haven't had time to listen to a training or no, I didn't go back and listen to the replay. And I ask them why, because here's what I have found out. The people that follow my program and go back and listen to past um, webinars, they get re-inspired. They hear something new, a different nugget of information that they may have not caught the first time because they were distracted. And when they take action on that information, they make more money. They become more efficient. They go out and try new things that they haven't done before. And nothing excites me more than when I get messages from my members of the Passport to Success monthly webinar program telling me, Joette, I went out and did it. I went to a networking event and I met new people. And now I'm talking about an event that's coming up and I'm having to send out a quote. Can you help me with that? I don't know how to do a quote right. <laughs> or, hey, I'm not sure how to price this. Can you help me out? That excites me. That is what I'm here for. I can only be a mentor to those people who wish to take action and keep on having feedback and conversations with me. So I'm just letting you know these resources are here for you to use. I want you to make um, the most of them. Oh, this is awesome. Danielle says that she often listens to the replays while inflating balloons. That's great. I love it. So here we go. Are you ready? Got your pins? Fall. <laughs> All right. First day of fall was yesterday. Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> if you're watching this in October of 2000, I mean, sorry, September of 2018, happy fall. If you're watching this, you know, six months from now, happy whatever season it is. So right now for today, September 23rd, 2018, we are in fall. That means it's football season. So let's talk about that for a minute. What does football season mean? Football season means that schools, 
<laughs> are celebrating, celebrating their um, kickoff for the season. They are having their weekly football games. They have pep rallies at their school. They have homecoming. Football is big in most towns in the United States. So you get in contact with that school. You find out who is in charge of their pep club, who's in charge of their cheerleaders, who's in charge of the booster for the football team. And you suggest making balloons for them. One of the things that I wanna let you know about is there's a replay from Liz Romani in the webinars that was about enthusiasm and sales. And during that class, she took you through the steps that she's used at her local schools to get them engaged and doing a fundraiser with them. And I just saw on her social media this last week where she went out and did that fundraiser again this year, where she's painting the town, the school colors, and people sponsor all the different team um, players to then have a topiary of balloons air-filled on a piece of PVC out somewhere like at the stadiums or in the town um, to promote that school. So there are unique things that you can do. You just have to get out there and have those conversations. And then homecoming. Homecoming is a dance that usually happens during this time of year. Some of the schools have a budget of about $500. Other schools will spend up to $3,000 on homecoming. It depends on where you live. Some maybe just do 250 for an entrance, but that's still some money. So you call the schools and you find out who their homecoming sponsors are. All right, so that's schools. Fall festivals, a lot of schools like elementary schools and middle schools sometimes have fall festivals on their school grounds where they have entertainment, face painting, all that. So for those of you who are in the entertainment, you can scoop in on that. Plus you can do decor and that might be an arch as the entrance. It could be topiaries on tents. There's lots of opportunities for fall festivals also at churches. A lot of churches will do fall festivals as an alternative to Halloween, and they'll do them throughout October and sometimes throughout November. And again, it's usually a children's based activity with lots of different booths set up. Sometimes they just need loose healing balloons where you come and put them in clusters for them around the space. Other times they want air filled arches, columns, scarecrows, um, anything that looks like fall without looking like Halloween. And then this time of year, there are still a lot of fundraisers going on. And if you missed it, I did post, and it's on my blog, if you go onto my homepage and search fundraisers or nonprofits, I did a blog quite a while back about how to turn a call for a donation to a nonprofit into a paying client. And there were five tips. I won't want to go into all those tonight, but I know we all get inundated with calls for fundraisers. You have to learn the language to use to turn those calls into paying customers. Now, it's not gonna work for everybody, but what I've learned, if you go through the five tips on my blog, it walks you through how to build a relationship with that person, how to educate them on the cost of your decor, and how to educate them on how to get sponsors to pay for your decor for their fundraisers. You have to have a plan in place for your business of what you do when people call. Then you need to practice what you say, and then you just do it over and over and over again, and it will fall off your tongue, and you will, I promise, over time, turn those people into paying clients. You just have to be confident with yourself and practice how you're going to handle those situations, and that blog, those five tips will help you do that. All right. So Jen is asking me, how do you know who to contact? Yeah, a lot of times you don't. <laughs> it is called hit and miss. So when I call a school to find out who their sponsors is, ring, ring, hello, this is George Jenkins High School. Hey, this is Joette with Party People Events. We help a lot of the schools in the district to celebrate at homecoming. Would you be able to tell me who your homecoming sponsor is? Now, you know what? I don't even have to give all that information. If I want to make sure they don't hang up on me, I might just call them and say, hi, I wanted to check who is your homecoming sponsor. Or I can ask who's your junior class sponsor, because typically that is who's in charge of homecoming. And then I find out what they teach. And then I say, what um, period does Miss Jones have off during the day? And then I typically will say, um, is it okay for me to bring something by the school to give her? Because some schools will allow you to make a delivery, some will not. Um, I will ask for their email address is typically the first thing I ask for before anything else. So now I can at least send Ms. Jones an email and um, 
introduce myself. The other thing, by knowing what period she has, I can actually call the school back during that time and ask to talk to Ms. Jones and actually possibly get her on the phone to try to sell her. When I'm talking to a sponsor, I introduce myself. Hi, this is Joette with Party People Events. We have been decorating for homecomings in Polk County since 2003. Um, we are an approved Polk County vendor and we love helping prom sponsors make it an easy process where you just have to walk in the door and everything is beautiful and you don't have to worry and stress about anything. And when I'm telling a prom sponsor who has way too many duties as it is already dealing with her class, grading papers, and then also now chairing this committee, the fact that I'm gonna take stress off of her and make her life easy, she's thrilled. Now, does it always work? No, so it's why it's a game of numbers. You have to just call every single school in your area. If I'm calling an elementary school, I may ask to find out what the PTA president's name is, their email and their phone number. If I am calling a um, middle school, I may ask them, you know, who's in charge of your annual fundraisers or do you guys have a fall festival? Do you have dances? And find out who the people are in charge of that. Typically on the elementary and middle school level, it's a PTA person and I ask to get their contact information. You can go in the school and leave flyers and brochures and a small um, balloon display that's fall related or you can take something that is the school colors to get their attention. Um, for fall festivals for churches, it's calling the church and say, hi, I noticed that every year you guys have an amazing fall festival. Who's in charge of that event? Oh, okay, Janice's, um, could I have her email address and phone number? I'd like to ask her a little bit about the, about the event. Hi Janice, it's Joette with Party People Events. We've been helping fall festivals at churches look beautiful for years. Um, what do you guys typically do for your decor? Oh yeah, we blow up balloons and then that's, they get all tangled up in the wind and it's a mess. Oh man, I understand. It's really tough working with those healing balloons um, when it's windy out. Um, I'd love to give you a solution where you don't have to hassle with that and I can bring some beautiful color to you. Do you happen to be by your computer right now? Oh, great, okay. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna send you a link real quick. What's your email address? Okay, here's the link to my website. All right, cool, do you see over here where we did this? I'm getting them to interact when I can, right then and there, where they can either go to my Facebook, sometimes at a school, or a church, they're not able to access Facebook while they're at work. So that's why I send an email link to my website. Or if I've already made a fall flyer on my computer, I can just send them that information directly so they can look at it. And then when, while we're on the phone, they can go, oh my gosh, this is amazing. We've never seen balloons like this before. And then I talk that conversation through, I find out what their budget is, and I sell them on the ideas. Again, this is a numbers game. It's not gonna happen that you call the first person and they automatically book with you. Every once in a while it might. But the other thing you wanna do is call in your favors with the people that you know in your community. Hey, I know that your kid goes to XYZ school. Who's in charge of the events at XYZ school? Can you please get me in contact with them? <laughs> and now you can name drop, hey, Janice, this is Joette with Party People, and um, Amy Lou told me to give you a call that you're the one that does all the spectacular events for the school and you'd love to make things look special for your son, Johnny. I'd love to help you in that process. Is there a time that we can get to talk about that? And then if right now is a good time, you can talk, and if not, you can schedule a time to meet with her later. Before you hang up the phone, you ask for her email address and send her information and ask her to set a date to follow up with you. So here's the thing, you have to step out of your comfort zone. You either are going to spend time or money or both to grow your business. And that means that you have to be the marketing person for your business. You've got to pick up the phone and make phone calls or you have to go out in person and meet people face to face. It's just a part of the business. And if you don't wanna do that, then you need to pay somebody like myself that will go out and do it for you. That's why Jonathan has myself and Bobby going out to be the social butterflies and then interacting, networking people for him is that's not his cup of tea. He prefers to sit at the office and train up our staff, support our staff, and take care of the business side of things while 
the other people are taking care of our customers and bringing new customers into the business. So if right now you're small and you can't afford to hire someone else, then guess what? Time for you to put your marketing hat on. It's time for you to bite the bullet and go out and make these calls and make these interactions. So Halloween decor, we're at the end of fall. We're talking about Halloween. Halloween decor often appears in malls, stores, car dealerships, banks, and trunk or treat events at churches and businesses. Again, it's making those phone calls, it's searching your paper, it's looking online on Facebook for upcoming events and contacting the people who are in charge of those events, letting them know about the services you offer and go for it. All right, so now let's jump in to winter time. Winter time is Hanukkah, December 2nd through the, um, December 10th, and Christmas is December 25th. A lot of people will decorate for these holidays as soon as Thanksgiving Day. I have gone into hospitals on Thanksgiving Day and set up Christmas trees for people. Um, that's an extra service that I have offered over the years because it was something I enjoyed doing and I got paid well to do it. Um, other times we would go and actually set up displays of Christmas balloons um, on Thanksgiving Day for when people came into their um, job that next day that it all looks magically Christmas. So places that you can decorate are malls, churches, car dealers, homes, corporate parties, family par parties, and even like Santa's villages where people get their pictures taken at different um, malls. So again, you have to pick up the phone. You've got to call people and ask the right questions. And you just have to go down the line. Sometimes you're gonna get shut down. Other times you're gonna find the right person. So here's the thing. There's one more part of the end of the quarter, and that is New Year's Eve. Right now, I'd like to know how many of you who are watching me live, how many of you currently have done decor for New Year's Eve, and how many of you have um, done a balloon drop? So just in the comments, write drop, write, um, so they put yes drops or yes um, New Year's Eve balloons. I'd love to know what you have had experience doing in the past. So again, I'm wanting to know, just put in yes new, um, balloon drop or yes New Year's Eve balloons so that I know those of you who are on with me if you've had any of those experiences in the past. Here's what I'm gonna let you know about New Year's Eve it can be the most profitable week of the year for many, many companies. Um, I've been very blessed that over the years I've gotten to experience it not only at home, but I've also traveled to help out with New Year's Eve. So let me tell you a little bit about my story with New Year's Eve. When I first got my business, um, one of our clients was um, a place called Red Rose, and it was a hotel in Plant City, which is about 30 minutes away from me. And this really awesome lady who loves to throw parties and celebrations, her and her husband owned it. And it had a large ballroom that could sit about 200 people comfortably for New Year's Eve with a dance floor. And they liked having balloon drops over the dance floor. And then they also had a restaurant. And in that restaurant, the ceilings were nine feet tall, maybe eight and a half. Um, and then there was a stage in front of the dance floor next to the bar and they would pack that house out. So they would have people in the ballroom and they would have people in the restaurant and that place sold out for New Year's Eve. They were an amazing client. They spent thousands and thousands of dollars with us. And it started with us doing balloon drops, um, custom sized bags to be able to fit over their dance floors. And because of all the lighting that they put into the ceiling, we always had to kind of play with it a little bit each year. Um, the rigging was a little bit different. And then for those short um, ceilings, we had to make something really, really close to the ceiling, which is using five inch balloons downsize. And I had to um, put the bag up. So like normally you hang a bag like this, <laughs> you know, it's hanging down. Instead, I had to hang it like this and have points on both sides. And then when it opened up down the middle, it would only open up a foot on either side because if it was any bigger than that, it would hit people on the head. Um, so I have pictures of that in my old um, 
blog, um, partypeoplecc.blogspot.com. I'll, I'll go over there and show that to you guys at the end, possibly. Um, but what I'm letting you know is when I first started the business, I didn't know how to do that. I went to training, I found out how, and then I did it. And we got the big ladders, I got the extra crew, and we went out and we kicked butt for New Year's. We made tons of centerpieces, we made tons of balloon drops, and we went from event to event to event. And we typically would start three days in advance based on how the weekend fell, and we would start setting those drops. We've done balloon drops for weddings because weddings that are happy on New Year's Eve typically want a balloon drop. Um, we have done balloons for churches. There are a lot of church congregations now that actually get together for New Year's Eve and they have a service that goes over midnight so that they're in their church for the new year. And sometimes they order balloon drops and other times they just want large healing bouquets throughout the um, congregation. So those are places that you can reach out to. Um, one of the churches even rented our local venue um, to have a big drop one year. Um, and so instead of doing it at their church, they came and like had a big party. The other thing when you're thinking about New Year's Eve is hotels. We have one hotel that we just put loose ceiling balloons to the ceiling every year for them. Um, we have bars, car dealerships, stores, all those people a lot of times like New Year promotions to get people to come in and buy more cars or buy more clothes at the end of the year. So those are things that you can reach out to. So now I'm going to look back to what people are telling me. So um, people have told me that some have done balloon drops, but not for their own business. A couple of other people have done balloon drops for New Year's Eve. Some other people have told me no. Um, all right. And some people have done small New Year's Eve parties. So here's the thing. It is not too early to start asking about New Year's Eve. I'm letting you know. Some people will wait till last minute and they will call you the week of. But other people will start planning now. And so reach out to any of your hotels, bars, and any location in your area that you think could host a New Year's Eve event. And you decide how far are you going to travel? Are you going to just travel within 15 minutes of yourself? Or are you going to travel an hour, maybe an hour and a half to make some good money? I hear the excuse all the time. I'm from a small city. I can't make any money with balloons two things. Why did you open a balloon business? And if that's true, that you can't make that money within your local area, then how far away do you need to travel to make money? And I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just being direct because here's the deal. I live in Lakeland, Florida, and our city has grown a lot since I um, first moved here, but we're not the big city. We're a decent sized city. We do have some large corporations that are here, but our bigger Money is in Orlando and Tampa. Our company services from Tampa to Orlando. We've gone up even north of Jacksonville before, which is over a three hour drive north. And we have even gone down south for a three and a half hour drive south for some of our repeat clients who really wanted us to take care of their decor for them. They couldn't find other people in those areas. I have traveled for Chase Bank grand openings many times over three hours away from my home to service them. Yes, they paid me well for the job and yes, they paid me for all of my time and my travel expenses. So you have to just determine where you have to go to make your money. And if you can't find those people who want to buy balloons from you, then you might want to look into a new career or you may want to look into working for another balloon business, being upfront and honest because you got two options. <laughs> you either go broke trying to do something you love, or you step out of your comfort zone and start asking everyone out there that could ever use balloons for a celebration to use your services. Does that make sense? Here's the thing. I grew my business up to $150,000 a year in sales, okay? I wasn't working with a full crew with me all the time. I had two people who worked with me part-time as needed on a regular basis. And I had about 10 other people I had traveled, I had trained over the years to work with me. They were great friends of mine from church. So I had families of four, it was a mom, dad, and two kids. I had two of those families. It was great. I got two families I'd call and I'd have eight people working for me. 
I had other friends that I worked with um, that I met at networking events that were in my American Business Women's Association. Two ladies came up to me and said, Joette, we love what you do. We would love to help you. You don't need to pay us. We just want to help you from time to time when you're in a crunch. And then we would just like to have some cool decor for our family parties. Wow, awesome, that was great. And they were two of my best workers um, because they would fill in when I couldn't find other people to work and other people weren't available. They helped me, but I had to step out of my comfort zone and I had to say, I need help. I can't do this all by myself to run my business and to get the jobs done quickly. And especially during New Year's Eve, I have to have help and I need to pay people to work with me. So I'm just throwing it out there for you. If you've set your goals with super high sales goals to have a lot of money in your pocket, make sure that you have the support system to help you meet those goals. I know that people will pay money for balloons because now I'm a part of a large company and I went from $150,000 a year in sales to now when Jonathan combined multiple business together and now we've got this amazing crew, we now have done over $500,000 a year in sales and we are growing past that for this year. So I know it can happen. I know it's a lot of hard work, but if you set systems in place and you set targets for these different people for the end of the quarter, you will make money. Now, I know there's a lot more details to get there and I'm gonna help you with that. So, I want you to know, especially for those of you who are already members of Passport to Success and have access to all of our past webinars, there are webinar replays that you can go back and listen to to help you with growing your business and I'm gonna remind you which one of those are. If you are new and don't have any clue what I'm talking about with my webinar program, you have two options. One is you can go and pay for the webinars at $50 a pop for all the replays, or you can join my new premier program. And I have a premier program that is $97 a month. And that program gives you access to all three years of our past replays. That's a $1,800 value if you were to buy them each at $50. So I'm letting you know, if you want to have information right now, tonight, to help you know how to blow up a balloon drop, how to rig it, how to sell it, if you want a lot of other information that I'm going to tell you about in a minute, start a Premier program and get access to that. With Premier, you also get to be a part of my balloon, ma ooh, balloon Boss Mastermind group. That support is $75 value. We have a weekly schedule to success in that group where I say, hey, here are the things that you need to focus in on this week. And in our mastermind group, we share our successes, share our struggles, and I'm there interacting with people on a regular basis to help with problems that come up along the way. You also then get access to my vision board workshop and fantastic spoils class that I just did last week. We did it as a recording, as a replay, and there's worksheets, and there is information on how to create the foil decor, and there's also ways to create your vision for your company and what you want your goals to be and what you want the company to look like in the future. And a part of Premier is being a part of the Passport to Success, where the fourth Tuesday of each month at 9 p.m., and then the first Monday of the next month at 9 p.m., we have webinars. At the end of the month on Tuesday, you're hearing from an instructor that's telling you about what they do for success in their business and to create income. And then the next week, that first Monday of the next month, I get on live with an action plan of here's some things to do within your business. And I answer live questions for people that are there. So I want to go ahead and dig in and show you guys some of the webinars that can help you with the things that we've talked about for fall. So. For those of you who've been on this, these webinars in the past and you maybe have forgot about them, Chris Potts, he did one on New Year's Eve and it told you how to sell New Year's Eve jobs. And if you've never sold a New Year's Eve job before and you don't have pictures, he had a template that you're able to download, put your own logo on, your own phone number and use it as your material to sell for New Year's Eve. Chris Potts also did a webinar on outdoor decor talking about how to work with tents, how to create arches, how to create support systems that work outside. So those classes you can watch over and over again and you can download the notes. All right, the next thing that I wanna let you know about 
is Liz Romani. She did one on enthusiasm and all of the amazing things that she does online with social media to promote her business and how she just comes up with ideas while in the shower. <laughs> and then you know what? Instead of it just having that idea and thinking about it, she puts action to it and does it. If you just want a boost of enthusiasm and a smile for the night, go list, watch Liz's replay. Amy Cullen did one on um, how she has a storefront and she was really upfront and told you the things that didn't work well and the things that did work well with her um, storefront. So if you're looking at getting a store or you're struggling with your store, she has some great tips. But in addition to that, she had a seasonal flyer for all the holidays that she uses for car dealerships. Again, she gave a template. You can download that template and it shows decor for fall, spring, summer, winter. And then you can turn that around and go use it to present to car dealerships or to present to other stores because it just shows how the, all that seasonal balloon decor works and it has her pricing on it. You can upgrade it and change it to whatever your price points are and put your logo on it. Brandon did one for us last month on how to market your business online. It was amazing how it talked about the importance of your website and how to use social media and email marketing and how it all works together. That webinar is phenomenal. I've done several webinars on business building and networking. So what I want to show you real quick is what I'm actually talking about and help you out. So we're going to go to balloonCoach.com. All right, so if for some reason you are watching this and you've never been, this is ballooncoach.com. Check out my website. This was us last year at Promotions and Profits in Orlando. I'm excited because we're getting ready to have another one coming up in November. If you need to know how to do outdoor balloon decor that lasts, go to the home page. And I want to show you here on the home page, there's a search button. So one of the things that I told you guys about was about nonprofits and being able to turn a phone call for a freebie into a paying gig. So see how I searched that and it pulled up? I now click on that and now I'm able to go in and read that past blog. So I want to let you know these blogs are here for you. I've been writing them since January of 2015. There's lots of different topics and you can go back down to the bottom to show some of the most recent or you can always go back to the home page and you can type in a topic that you're looking for. That is a free resource for anybody, my blog. The other resources that will help you out that are on here is our online magazine called Elevated Events. I have a new one that will be coming out by October 1, um, but all the old ones are there for you. And what that magazine is, is interviews with balloon professionals from around the world giving tips and hints on their business. And you can just go back and see all of the past interviews. They're all right here, just waiting for you to read the information. And so you can go back and you can see what we did back in September of 2016 and check out all those tips. Those Halloween ideas that are there are still good for today. Another resource that I have there for you is information on things that are helpful in the industry like balloondvds.com. If you're trying to do fabric draping for homecoming or upcoming proms and weddings, I have three videos that we sell at balloon DVDs on that subject. Chris Adamo has an amazing free balloon industry tool. It's right here, balloons.com.au tools. Click on that and it'll help you out. There's lots of other tips and hints that are right there for you. So I wanted to let you know that that is there. So we were talking about webinar replays that are available. And for those of you who've been in my membership for a while, I think sometimes we forget that they're there because it's just kind of hanging out. So Chris Potts, he's the one that did the outdoor decor. And then if you go down and look, at, I'm gonna click here and it's gonna go by date. My very first webinar speaker was David Mahoney talking about profits and problems. So if you want to go back and hear David Mahoney's story and be really inspired of how he went from a home-based business to now doing over a million and a half in sales a year, great place to start. Balloons by Tommy. Talk about an amazing story. Their business is booming. And they did two webinars with me. They're one of those people that I've been very fortunate that when Red Rose in, and um, 
Florida here, one of my top clients closed down and I no longer have my big New Year's Eve account. I had several other ones, but the people I had trained could go do them by themselves. I started going with my family to Chicago for Christmas. And then I would be in Chicago for New Year's Eve. And for three years in a row, I got to, or three different years, I got to work with balloons by Tommy at New Year's Eve. Talk about tying a ton of balloons and people who crank out the jobs. So, so inspiring. But they talk about how they doubled their profits and what they've done. Um, New Year's Eve, um, a drawer and drops by Chris Potts. This one right here with this very cool curved um, drop. That is an awesome, awesome webinar. If you aren't confident doing balloon drops, he teaches you how to make these nets. You can then build one now, rig it up in your house, have two people hold it, go put it in a school somewhere, come up with an excuse to use a balloon drop and pull it and practice it now so that you're ready to do it at New Year's Eve. He had a lot of amazing tips and a sales flyer that you were able to edit. So. There are tons and tons of webinars. There's 36 of them. <laughs> I could go on and on for hours. But what I want to let you know is these are all here for you. And if you want to be inspired on how to take a step in your business that you've been fearful of, go and listen to these recordings and take action on what you learned. Um, one that I want to show you that I have done is strategies for creating a thriving business and become a master in marketing. So that one was 2016 and it's telling you how I grew my magic in marketing. I was not amazing at going out and meeting people when I first started. I was tongue tied. I would trip over my words and I wasn't sure where to go. But over time, I perfected what I was doing and I became known as a master marketer in my area. And I actually was a speaker for American Business Women's Associating Association, helping other people learn how to network and how to do their 30 second promo. That was years ago. And it was because instead of going to a networking event and feeling like I had to go and sell people, I went there to build relationships and it showed. And now those people respond and continue to refer business to me year after year. But it takes time and you've got to go out and invest in your company by going out and talking to people. The one that I would highly encourage you to listen to from me is strategies to create a thriving balloon business. And uh, somebody reached out to me today, actually one of my premier members and told me she was, had just gone back and listened to this webinar. And it was talking about, are you a technician, an entrepreneur or a manager? And basically, it's referring to a book called The E-Myth Revisited. It is a book that I recommend to everyone in business to read because it makes you take a hard look at who are you and what do you want from your business and what are you willing to do differently to make your business grow. And after you identify your personality in business and what you're willing to do, it's going to let you know how far you're going to be able to go. It helps you look at business in a different perspective. And so many of us in the balloon industry are creative people who just want to go make balloons and make people happy and smile. But if we don't look at these other roles that we need to be very serious about to grow our business, we struggle. So that is another one that you can go in and watch and get the information and grab that book. And hey, grab it on audio and listen to it while you drive from event to event or listen to the book while you're inflating balloons. So let me just check one last thing for you. Fall, birthdays, okay? If all else fails and you're not able to get a hold of the school, and you're not able to get a hold of car dealerships, and you're not able to conquer the New Year's Eve market. Do you know what there always is? Birthdays. There are always birthdays. There are approximately 17.7 .7 million people a day celebrating their birthdays. So does your business have a system in place to profit from deliveries? Our next webinar is on Tuesday. All right, two more nights. And this lovely lady, Belinda Barrier, who is from Jacksonville, Florida, a balloon construction company, and also a very dear friend of mine because of going to conventions, 
I met this person who's very business focused and we've had a great friendship and I have been able to help support her and she helps support me and we bounce ideas off of each other. And that is one of the greatest gifts that going to conventions has given me is this amazing network of friends that I have in our industry to help support each other and help us keep going. The other person that's going to be um, coming that evening to talk to you is Robert Castellano, and I can't say his last name very well. I apologize. He is Balloon Guru in San Diego, California. He has a huge business that is super booming. He has five delivery trucks, and his team continues to grow, and they specialize in amazing deliveries. So what I'm letting you know is if all those things that I talked about fall for you are daunting, then let's get to talking about birthdays and how you can be making the most off of having deliveries to people for their birthday. Look at these fun designs from get well soon. You know, people are in the hospital, <laughs> birthdays, everybody's celebrating. There are holidays that come up like Valentine's Day that you can deliver a ton of um, balloons for, or just to make people feel special every single day for that 17 million birthdays. Look at these amazing fun bouquets that Robert delivers. So I encourage you, if nothing else, join us on Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern live for our next webinar. If you are not registered yet for that, all you have to do is go up and either choose to be a part of our Passport to Success, which is $25 a month. And what that gives you access to is the current month's webinar, the replay from it, so you can join us live and ask questions. You can come in and then listen to the replay later, and that gives you ac access to the action plan on the first Monday of the next month, where I help give you tips to implement what you learned from our instructors. Now, if you're telling me, Joette, I'm brand new to Balloon Coach and I really want to be able to access all 36 of those past webinars, then come over here and click Become a Premier Member. That's $97 a month. It gives you over $2,000 worth of materials at your fingertips immediately. And you just have to click this button to do that. If you're currently one of my Passport to Success members and you want to upgrade, to our premier program so you can be a part of our Balloon Boss Mastermind. Send me a private message, Joette Giardina, you know me here on Facebook, and I will send you the link to upgrade because there's a special link that will take you from monthly passport up to premier. Um, so um, that first month it subtracts the $25 that you've already paid for your subscription. So I'm just letting you know if you want to upgrade, just send me a private message that says upgrade and I will send that link to you. If you are still wondering, Joette, I don't understand webinars and how this all works and you have questions about it, send me a private message or email joette at, that's J-O-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, at ballooncoach.com and I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. And then the final and last thing that I want to tell you that you can do to rock 2018 and make it great is you can decide today to invest in your business and join us in Orlando at the middle of November, November 13th through the 16th. I have a team of nine amazing instructors that are going to be there, work with you side by side for only 75 people. We have about a dozen seats left for that. So if you are wanting to join us live in Orlando for Promotions and Profits Workshop, then you need to sign up now to get your seat on the website under Orlando Retreat. It shows you all of my amazing instructors. Gary Ledbetter is going to be teaching balloon drops and exploding balloons. So here's the great news. You can go right now and sell balloon drops with confidence knowing Carrie is going to step you step by step how to build them. So after watching Chris's webinar, if you're still unsure, you're going to get that hands-on experience with us at retreat with Gary. And he's awesome at being able to tell you how to problem solve different rigging situations. Um, Jonathan Gerber, the person who purchased my company from me and other people in Orlando and has this dynamic company. He's going to explain to you how he trusts other people to go out and do his jobs um, and how he's grown his business to where it is and do some pretty fun pool decor. And we're going to be also doing fabric decor and feather decor is one of the classes he and I are doing together um, to help talk to you about prom season. Um, Cody Williams from Cody's Red Balloons in Texas. He is going to be talking about how he does his beautiful organics and how he incorporates in his florals and um, beautiful 
ribbons and fabrics to his designs to make them elegant and beautiful. Katie Byrne is being sponsored by Qualitex and she will be teaching her styles for organic and how she makes some great money on them. And we're also going to be um, helping how she does designs for full decor. From Vitalik, we have three amazing instructors, Liz Romani, Jan Imes, and Eddie Hayland, and they are going to be doing a perfect prom for you. And we are going to transform the ballroom into a prom. And what's going to happen is one day we're doing weddings, and the weddings is with um, Cody and Katie. We're doing prom with Eddie and Jan and Liz. We are doing New Year's Eve with Gary. And we are doing prom with Jonathan, I mean, sorry, pool decor with Jonathan and Katie. We are gonna have four styled photo shoots. So all of the decor that we're creating while we're there, we are going to have professional photography that you'll have access for to use in your marketing to be able to sell for making the end of the year rock and then 2019 launch off to a great start. All the other details about retreat, including your opportunity to come to a business behind the magic tour with Disney Institute. Um, that is a program that typically Fortune 500 companies do, and I'm offering it to you through Balloon Coach because you can't just go buy an independent ticket for this. You have to do it with an organization. I am so excited about the end of 2018. I hope you understand that if you sit down and you write a marketing plan and that every single day you wake up and you make phone calls, you put your feet to the ground and go out and talk to people, or you use the techniques that Brandon talked about on his online marketing and put those into effect in your website and on your emails and in your social media. When you work all those things together, online marketing and in face-to-face -face marketing and picking up the phone, and going out and networking with people, when you put all those pieces together, you will have increased business, but you have to step outside of your comfort zone. And if the money isn't where you want it right now, that means there's something that you're not doing quite right. There's something that you're needing to spend more time on. And if you want help in doing that, that's what the premier program is all about. I understand that not everybody um, has it in their funds to do my $225 a month for three hours of one-to-one -one coaching. If you do and you want that extra help, please sign up for one-to-one -one coaching. I'd be glad to help you. But if instead you want help taking things a step at a time every week and taking a little bit more action and having some encouragement, then I enjoy you. I encourage you to come and join us in the Premier Membership Program. So guys, that is my presentation for the evening. I've talked about fall, winter, and New Year's Eve. If there are any other questions you have for me before I sign off, please go ahead and throw those up right now. I hope to see many of you on live with me on Tuesday night with Belinda and Robert as we talk about balloon deliveries and how it can increase your income and how focusing on birthdays um, can help fill in that gap for you in between your other events. Everyone has a birthday and so many of them now are celebrated bigger and better than ever because balloons are so prevalent on social media and people love what they see. I can't wait to see how your business ends in 2018. Remember to write down your goals of what those numbers are of what you want your sales to be and go for it. Work hard daily. And if you struggle, send me a private message. Let me know what's going on. And then if you're ready to be a part of a program, come hang out with us in Passport to Success. Or if you want that really solid daily interaction, come be a part of the Premier Program. Any last questions or comments before we end tonight? Guys, thanks so much for being here. I really enjoy being your partner in success, and I look forward to hearing from you to see how your fall ends up. If there's anything I can do to help you or a certain training that you're looking for for the future, let me know. Email joette at ballooncoach.com. Bye.